James here and it looks like winter is coming. It's been three degrees this morning, it's rather cold. Uh, I've been using the Nissan app to preheat the car. Uh, as you can see, we're actually on the A1. I know I said I'll be doing the Scotland trips, but the Tour of Scotland videos, but that will have to wait a little bit because I need to sort a few things out uh, before that can happen. So, I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk about the state of health of the car, of the battery, should I say. I've not really gone into detail about it when I did the 10,000 miles. Basically, it was more information than I could uh, cram in in one trip. So I get people asking me about the state of health of the battery. And I don't think it's relevant unless you sort of like gather the information over time and correlate it with things like the mileage and so on. And sort of like how much you do fast or rapid charge or type 1 or type 2 charge. But I thought it would be fun to do a projection of that with the information that I've been gathering over the 7 to 8 months. But going through Trusty Leaf Spy, we can see that the state of health is at 97.42% and we've got 12,442 miles. Uh, quick charge or rapid charge, we have done 165 and level 1 and level 2 charge, I've done 163. So it's quite even with the charging types and how this will affect the car. So in this chart, the orange line shows the amount of rapid or quick charge that I've been doing compared to the level one and level two, which is the gray line here. Uh, this shows that I've been doing a lot more of the uh, rapid charge just because um, I was in Edinburgh and I was in the flat, as you all know. So all in all, now that I've moved, you can see that the level 1 and level 2 start to creep up because I can actually charge from home now. So it's pretty much even on the amount of charge of each type I've done in uh, this time. So the blue line shows the uh, state of health of the car and you can see that it's gradually going down. But if you look at the left hand figures, it's not actually that much at 97.42% at the moment. But you'll see there's a little spike that's gone up and that was actually the trip when I went down to Nottingham for to meet uh, Kenneth from EV Evolutions and uh, that trip there I got 462 miles in that one day and the temperature of the car went all the way up to 48, 49 degrees centigrade. Managed to do uh, level to charge at the Franklin charger and that actually brought up to 100% I'm sure I'm sure it's full when I left there so I don't know if that had anything to do with it because that reading was taken after that point and obviously the, the trip back up to Newcastle after that and then there's this point here that seems to dip quite a bit and that was another long trip that was actually Edinburgh to Newcastle, then back up to Edinburgh, and then I went down to Manchester and came back up. And all those was just rapid charge only, and I didn't really have much time to do a level two charge to top it up to 100%. So I probably didn't get a chance to normalize after that point. So in this next chart here, it shows us how many miles we've done in the seven month on the orange bar, which is 12,442 miles, and the state of health of the vehicle in the blue bar, which is now at 97.42%. So obviously that bar doesn't seem like it's moved much, so we're going to zoom into the top 5%. So from this zoomed in position, we can see that the state of health um, of the battery kind of correlates to the mileage that I've been doing, apart from this spike where I said that I was at Nottingham. If I was to hand it back after my three year PCP back to Nissan, then we would be at a state of health roughly about 
89 to 88%, but I would do it after I covered 70,000 miles, which is way over what uh, my uh, PCP allowance would be because it's only supposed to be 30,000. But you know, I, I, as we're just making this up over the period of time, if I keep driving this vehicle the way I am or the way I have been for the last seven to eight months, then that would be the drop if the state of health of the battery is going to be dropping at the same sort of like standard rate as what we're seeing now. So let's make this even more interesting. If we project this out to 20 years and hypothetically if I was still driving like I am now and uh, these um, lines are dropping in a linear fashion as we have been doing for projecting over the five year period or the three year period then we'll find that the state of health would be roughly about 20% in 20 years time and that seems really low as in the, the amount of degradation on the battery but if that was the case we would have clocked 500,000 miles on this car and for 20 years for an old classic car that's not that's not too bad is it but that is highly unlikely we're more likely to drive the car less so I'm going to change this graph and present this one here which is more of a curve so it's just basically um, the state of health of the battery the F curve I'm basically tapering that uh, out uh, back into itself and also the mileage that I'll be doing which is tapering back in as well so from here in 20 years time with the tapering of the mileage that we'll be doing it will be 48% state of health so are you ever really going to be driving the car 100,000 miles in the time that you're going to own it it's most likely not and losing 10% or 15% isn't really that bad um, in the whole grand scheme of things. So I just want to put a wee disclaimer here that the information that I've just presented you know, is just a projection, it's just a hypothetical situation from gathering the information that I have have from the short seven to eight months drive that I've been doing and in no way makes me an expert in battery degradation over long periods of time. So if I'm right and it's dropping at the rate that it's dropping at now for the state of health of the battery, I don't think I have anything to worry about really. Once again, thank you for watching and if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, I miss these drives.